Well, I mean, it, you had a good uh, go around against Rutgers the first time. Coach says they've changed a little bit. What What are the keys for tomorrow for you defensively? I think just coming in, uh, impacting the game on defense. Uh, uh, you know, Ron's a great player. I guarded him last time and just uh, kind of disrupt things with my length. Uh, but yeah, just come in defensively. Uh, uh, you know, they get going at the rack. Uh, they they play uh, extremely well at the rack. So uh, just not letting guys get going there and uh, yeah, and just doing what I do on defense. Is it just the matchup with Harper? Is there something about the offense they run that makes you particularly a good defensive option for Illinois? Uh, I just, we just noticed, you know, you know, sometimes Ron struggle, struggles with length, um, as you saw, you know, the first time we played them. Uh, so yeah, just uh, I think that matchup is a great matchup, and then uh, I think you could throw me on anyone out there, whether that's you know McConnell at six seven. Uh, Paul McKay, you know, he likes to get his to his post up. He's been playing well, but uh, anywhere that coach needs me, I'll go out there and I'll guard. So, thanks, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, Coleman. Uh, coach talked about this uh, on Sunday, but the fact that you guys are in first place in the Big Ten, it's hard to to not hear that. Maybe you know, hear the the talk about a Big Ten title, but you don't talk about it much as a team. How do you, how do you feel like you guys need to handle that the last three weeks? You know, firmly in the hunt to, to win a Big Ten title. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, just go out there and win. That's all you can do. Uh, just leave everything out there. I mean, there's, what, six, five, six games left. So just go out there, play hard every night. Every team's going to be coming for us. Every team's going to throw their best game at us. Uh, so go out there and, uh, you know, give it your all. And, uh, you know, we deserve one, too. We deserve a a Big Ten uh, title. So, yeah, just go out there and win games. And something Kofi said after the Northwestern game was, he got the win, it was great, but it was kind of frustrating just maybe the way you guys played the second half. What can you guys still maybe clean up, do better you know, here in the stretch run? I think limiting uh, turnovers is a big key. Uh, you know, down the stretch, it led to a lot of transition ports for Northwestern. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, those turnovers lead to, transition points and our defense isn't so great in transition. Our defense is really good in the half court though. So limiting turnovers, uh, you know, making the right plays, knowing when to take shots, you know, right time and just no scouting report mistakes. You know, uh, I, th I think in the Northwestern game, you know, we let Ty Berry go off for like, I think five threes, uh, knowing that all he can really do is shoot. So, you know, less scouting report mistakes and uh, limiting turnovers is definitely a, a big thing. Thanks, Coleman. Hey, Coleman, as this season goes on, how do you, what role do you envision for yourself on this team? I mean, it looked like you played with a lot of energy against Northwestern. How do you kind of build on that? And is that your role? Yeah, just uh, trying to find a way to impact the game, whether that's on the offensive glass, making passes, uh, you know, getting guys open, any any kind of way that I can just impact the team. Uh, whenever coach puts me in, uh, you know, defense, anything like that, uh, somehow, some way, just try to find a way to, you know, whether it's a certain amount of minutes, larger, smaller, just trying to find a way to impact the game any kind of way. And coach talked about teams had been playing off of you a little bit as a shooter. And I think you've taken like eight shots in the last, eight games. What's the psyche behind that in terms of, you know, teams are playing pretty far in the paint. How do you kind of handle that? I mean, uh, I haven't really like noticed it. I think a lot of times at the four spot, they want to take those plays away, uh, especially our, our high low passes and everything. Uh, but, you know, I've been going back and forth between three and the four. Uh, so the three is you're, you're more in the, in the corner, of the offense, so you, I mean, you get opportunities, but it's just like they, they swing through you, and you you make certain reads, and it's not the same at the four. Uh, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't affect me. Uh, whatever you know, shot comes to me, I'm gonna take it. But uh, yeah, uh, it's just whatever you know the rhythm is of the game. If I'm open, I'm gonna shoot it. But if I'm not, then I'm not. So it, yeah, it doesn't really affect me.
Thank you, Coleman. Coleman, after the Northwestern game, Coach Underwood had some really good things to say about your play. What, was that a kind of a conf confidence booster for you? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to find the rhythm again uh, to where, I, you know, I'm playing like myself. Uh, I think sometimes I get caught up in not being myself, you know, um, but I think definitely, uh, you know, with coach talking good and, uh, you know, showing that he's, uh, you know, believing me, throwing me in there, uh, it, it's, it definitely is a, a confidence booster. Last time out against these guys, one of the big storylines was your defense on Ron Harper Jr. So are you looking forward to this game and, and the challenge of checking him again? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ron is a great player, a good friend of mine too. So, uh, yeah, I think I think it's definitely a great challenge. Like I said, especially at the rack, you know, they they really get going at the rack. So it's going to be a real big challenge, and uh, knowing what's on the line as well. So, yeah. Thanks, Cole. Come on, I want to follow up. You said you weren't feeling yourself. What what led to that, or and how do you kind of get through that? Uh, you know, just getting to the gym, put shots up, trying to get back to, you know, the player that I think I am. Uh, and yeah, just going out there and playing hard. Uh, I, you know, early on, uh, I, I played with a lot more energy and, you know, some, sometimes in the season, you know, you, you play so many games, you kind of, you, you just need to refocus. And I think that's what I'm getting back to now, just, you know, locking back in and, knowing what's on the line and, you know, doing whatever uh, it takes to win game. So. Is it difficult, Coleman, to go from, you know, with so many injuries early in the year, you were kind of one of the guys and then having to find and, and kind of reset a role? Like, how do you kind of handle that? Uh, it is kind of difficult, but like I said, it just whatever, whatever coach has for us, whatever lineups he wants in, it, uh, as long as, you know, we're winning games, it, that, that that's all that matters, you know. Big Ten Championship. That's why I'm here to win games, to win uh, and do it for this university. So, I mean, it, it definitely could be frustrating for uh, anyone. Could look at it as like frustrating, um, but yeah, like it's not like you know we're dead last in the Big Ten. Uh, it's just you know we're winning games. I'm I'm happy we're winning. It. I'm happy for everybody uh, and anybody who gets in gets to play. So yeah, thanks, Coleman. Hey, Colin, if I could get one more, you talked about going between the three and the four and the different responsibilities that carries offensively. How do you adapt to that? Because that seems like a lot to do, even though it's less than what you were doing in the rate, like the beginning of the season in terms of positions, it still seems like quite a bit. Yeah, it, uh, you know, sometimes we're running a play and I'm just, I'm thinking I'm a four man um, because I'm guarding the four man on the other end or I'm just used to playing the four, but I'm actually playing the three and I just, Sometimes it gets mixed up. Uh, it, it definitely does get like, I wouldn't say challenging, but sometimes like I do forget I'm the three or the four. And uh, especially with the matchups, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm guarding a two, sometimes I guard a four. Like just with the matchups, I think that's the biggest part of like uh, kind of the confusing part of going back between the three and the four and all the other positions. So. Is this a first for you? Like, I would think a prolific, you played mostly the four, right? Or, the, I mean, is this new switching back and forth like this? Um, no, because I, I, I played multiple positions before. Uh, in, in high school, I mean, you don't have hundreds of plays in high school, you know. Um, so that's, that's where I could, you know, get away with just, you know, kind of kind of freelancing on off and just being wherever I wanted to be, honestly. But. Now it's, you know, it's college basketball and it's uh, a lot more serious, a lot more uh, plays. So that that's where, you know, that's that's the only thing I'm just not used to is just like knowing where I'm at in certain plays and stuff like that. So, yeah. I got you. Thanks, man. Last one. Uh, I wouldn't ask if it weren't February 22 and you weren't an intellectual, but uh, are you playing Wordle? No, nah, I... I I've heard about it, but I don't know what that is. You gotta check it out, man. So I, I, I might have to. I, don't, I I keep hearing about it. I just don't know what it is, though. Google it. All right, I got you. Thanks, man. Yep.